Hi, I'm Penny Reeves and I'm a children's and young adult author. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, what is the difference between traditional and self-publishing? So publishing is when you take a manuscript and you turn it into a book that other people can read. So whether that's uh, just like a homemade publication or whether you're sending it off to a publishing company or you're publishing it in ebook form, it's all publishing. But there are some differences in the ways that we get things published and two very common uh, big versions is traditional publishing and self-publishing and there's some very key dif differences between the two and in between the two there's a whole bunch of sort of hybrid um, ways of getting books in print as well. So traditional publishing is a traditional sort of old-fashioned way where you create your manuscript, you make it all beautiful and you pitch it to a publishing house and ask them to publish your book. In traditional publishing models, the editor will look at your book and decide, yes, they, they really like it. Uh, they think, yep, it suits our list. Uh, it, it, it adds value to what we're offering as a company uh, and we think it will sell. And because we think it will sell, we will buy it from, from you, the author. And so in a traditional publishing deal, you sometimes get an advance. Hopefully you get an advance. Um, advances are nice. Uh, and you get paid royalties uh, based on recommended retail price. Uh, so that's, that's a traditional publishing model. In traditional publishing models, the publishing house will um, pay for the editing process. Um, your book's got to be really good before you send it to them. It's got to be as good as you can make it. But they will do some editing from their end as well. They will pay for the design. They will pay for the illustrations. They will pay for the printing. And they will pay you once the book starts selling or, or with an advance. So the publisher is taking the risk. To, to, to get your book out there. And, and that's why sometimes it can be really hard to get a book traditionally published because like, that's a lot of output for a publisher to put into a project that may or may not work, which is also why as authors, we've got to make sure we're sending our absolute best and we, we can explain why we think it's going to sell, who it's going to sell to, why we have to have a platform to be able to promote and get our book into the hands of our readers. Um, but the publisher is paying the author for the work. Self-publishing, on the other hand, is where the author takes on the full responsibility of getting the book out there, whether it's uh, through digital or print formats, audio books, everything. The, the author themselves will do all that work. The author will pay for editing, design, illustrations, printing, um, distribution. The author will do all of that work, but the author will then get all of the income from that payment. In traditional publishing, you get a percentage, the royalties is a percentage of that recommended retail price that you receive in payment. In self-publishing, you, you can get that all. So the difference is in traditional publishing, they pay you, self-publishing, you pay to get it published. The thing I think writers really need to be aware of, especially when they're weighing up these two options is, um, which is gonna suit your project the best? A lot of authors head down the self-publishing route because it's quicker. Um, you've got more control over the project. You can get it exactly how you want, and you don't have to um, you don't have to appease what a publisher's expectations are. You can do it the way you want, and there's a lot of freedom in that, and that's really great. But there's also um, challenges in that you've got to source all of those other expertise yourself. In terms of marketing, both traditional and self-publishing require authors to do a lot of promo themselves. You need to have a platform, you need to be building that platform and you need to be thinking creatively how does my book get to the readers I'm writing it for, regardless of which option you go down. If you're thinking about self-publishing, I just really recommend that you just take a lot of care because there's a lot of companies out there that are just wanting to exploit authors uh, and just take money and bucket loads of money to, to give you a book in your hands. Uh, it's just not worth it. So do your research, find out what other people are doing, find other authors who are self-published that you respect and and see what they're doing, what programs are they using, how are they going about getting their book in print. I think another thing you need to think about if you're tossing up whether you want to go traditional or self-publishing is um, 
kind of who's your audience and what's the best way of reaching your audience. Uh, for some books, the traditional publisher has an established audience of those particular readers and that might be your best way. And for children's authors, there's another step of thinking that we have to do. I think children's authors have to think about the way they write more than everybody else <laughs> just because our audience is slightly different and the people who buy our books are different from the people who are consuming our books so if you're self-publishing or traditional publishing and you're thinking which should I do just think about who is your audience and how's the best way to reach that particular age group and that particular readership um, maybe traditional publishing will get your house your book distributed more widely maybe self-publishing will actually fit, fill the niche in a way that a traditional publisher won't. So there's all sorts of things to think about um, with traditional or self-publishing. And like I said, there are some options in between which sort of subsidise publishing. Um, just remember to do your homework, do lots of research, whichever, whichever way you go. I always like to say your audience is the most important and it's about you connecting your stories with their intended audience, whether that's traditional or self-publishing. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, please do like and subscribe. If you've got another question you want me to answer, please pop that in the comments and I'll see what I can do. See you later.